Promotion of science subjects and other technological inventions are one of the priorities government is looking at achieving in its Vision 2040. Under such, government has decided to develop research in science by investing over $105 million. The funds which are to be distributed in all public universities will first be used in training lecturers, according to Education Minister Jessica Alupo. Publishing laboratories and uh, buying equipment and also training science lecturers to PhD and uh, master's level so that they can boost science, technology and innovation. But the focus is on research to find problems that are affecting societies. Alupo disclosed this while officiating at this year's International Research and Innovations Dissemination Conference at Hotel Africana in Kampala. This, if implemented, will reduce the dependence on donor fund for research that has been the practice in the past. Sciences are now compulsory in secondary education, even primary now. When we review even the lower secondary education curriculum, sciences are going to be a focus to everybody. So the project is also to expand science facilities so that the children are not stranded when they finally reach university level, when they have all done sciences. Funding from CEDA to undertake graduate education. Since 2000, the program has trained over 250 PhD students trained postdocs as well as numerous master students across the university and the partner public universities in Uganda. The Swedish government has in the past funded research to a tune of over 82 million US dollars in 15 years. Expected to contribute to an improved health status of ordinary Ugandans. Research results include improved gen gynecological surgery for treatment of fistula primary health care and lifestyle changes to prevent and manage type 2 diabetes, long-term measures to improve road safety and improve management of organic waste. This was just a few examples that we consider very relevant. Shumim Batalwa, WS News.